we shall be whole. Oh, him, yes, we shall. entitled the king in you listen at these words it says you come from royalty an aristocratic dynasty the goal of the enemy is that you don't know who you are there's power when you speak so be mindful of the words you release I know that life has challenged you but the king in me speaks to the king in you you were born to rule. There is a king in you. I, re I, 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 I often repeat that song because it blesses me. It reminds me that I am to have a kingdom mentality. It reminds me that I'm more than a conqueror, that I'm going to win this thing, that I'm going to finish strong because I have been built to glass. God in his infinite wisdom knew that believers would experience storms in their lives. So in the scheme of time and creation, he crafted, he used special skills, which gives us the ability to stand in the midst of adversity. Paul even admonishes us in Ephesians 6 and 10, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You don't have to do it alone. God will be there to help you if you will allow him. And then he says in Ephesians 6, now you are not fighting against flesh and blood, but the devil and his angels. We are not fighting against flesh and blood. We have to remind ourselves that it is not our coworker, it is not our neighbor, but it is a spirit that we are warring against, that we are fighting. The devil is a cause of high stress and anxiety. He causes all the pain and the sorrow and he has intensified it to another level. And with all of this turmoil, he's putting fear in the hearts of many people. In Isaiah 41 and 10, it states that for, he said, fear thou not, that's what he says, for I am with thee, be not dismayed. For I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Psalms 27 and 14 says, Be strong and let your heart take courage. Listen, women of God, you and I are not an afterthought. We're not a fly by night. 
we were thought out in the council chambers of heaven. Now I know some people think that God went to Lowe's or Home Depot, got a bag of dirt and decide to form and create us, but the devil is a lie. The Bible says that we were thought out in the council chambers of heaven. Hallelujah. That makes me know that anything God values, I'm really somebody and you are too because he values us.